introducing the parsha of Vayikra. The Torah Hakadosh says Vayikra Moshe the Aleph traditionally is an Aleph Zeira, a minimized Aleph, and in the Sefer Torah the Aleph is reduced. And the reason for this is that Hakadosh Baruch Hu came and called Moshe Rabbeinu. But Moshe Rabbeinu did not want to think that he's so special and unique. He reduced it to Vayikor. It was a happenstance. The Torah says Vayikra. But the olive is reduced to show the reluctance of Moshe Rabbeinu in feeling anything unique and special about himself. This flies in contrast with Bilam. Bilam was fabilamed. Bilam felt that everything was his own power and strength. Nothing was coincidence. And the beauty of this is that we see in the road signs, in the life of Moshe Rabbeinu and Bilam, there are two different approaches. Bilam has his donkey talking to him. And he beats him and argues with him. And doesn't take notice of the fact that a donkey doesn't talk. He's so fabulum, he's so full of himself, that he has no time to react to the miracles that are occurring around him. He's someone that Hashem just wants to come to. He doesn't want Bilam to come to him. Vayikra means that Kodesh Baruch was inviting Moshe Rabbeinu, bringing him into the Mishkan, connecting with him on Hashem's terms. Bilam has no sense of self. HaKadosh Baruch will go visit Bilam. Don't come to my palace. I'm going to you. It's only a mikra. Moshe Rabbeinu sees Hasne Nana'uko that the bush does not stop burning. He has a pool of his uras, according to Ramatasyo Shlita. He changes his life by looking and noticing what people didn't notice. The fuel is not consumed and the bush keeps on burning. Moshe Rabbeinu creates Admas Kodesh. The difference between Bilam and Moshe is in that Aleph. To Moshe Rabbeinu, it's all about the world around him. It's about the marvel of Hashem existence. It's about the fact that tremendous things are happening and he picks up on the road signs. Mokim Asher Atoi made Admas Kodesh, wherever a Yid goes, he creates Kedusha. Bilam, he so far Bilamed, he could see a wondrous thing like his donkey talking to him, and he doesn't react. He keeps on talking to the donkey and beating the donkey and arguing with the donkey, having no understanding of what the relevance is. Some of Falshim say that Bilam was a greater Navi than Moshe Rabbeinu, but what do you do with the Navua? To Moshe Rabbeinu, Hasnan and Ukol. He transforms his locale, his location, into terrain of holiness, wherever he goes. That's the Kayach of a Yid, to be like Moshe Rabbeinu, to read the road signs, and to always remember that it's the paramount importance in life to connect that Kodesh Baruch to visualize Hashem, to see Hasnan and Ukol, to have the Amun and Betochen, to realize that Hashem is there orchestrating all that happens. With that innate koyach that we have, we're able to serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to connect to Hashem, and be zeichet to the bountiful brachas that Karbonus can offer.